Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading September 16th to 20 to 22nd, a 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic and the very theme of uh, your week here, Gemini, is going to be the uh, King of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> and afterwards it is the positive aspect of uh, the week, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. And then the last one which stands for the guidance that Tsaru is offering here, that is to be the Justice card. <laughs> That's very interesting. Mm, all right, so uh, I, it looks like as a, um, a very good offer coming in your way that uh, this week is going to be presented to you. But before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one, which is the uh, topic of your week, is going to be the King of Cups, followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. That is to be the Seven of Cups. Afterwards, it is the Eight of Swords, which stands for the... Um, positive aspect and then the last one is going to be the justice card which represents the guidance that Tsaru is offering. So um, let's uh, let's scrutinize the reading all right the first one which is the king of cups it's accompanied with the ace of swords. So the formation here it is a, a passive neutrals that we do have and these two cards are representing a, a person who approaches you with either offer for a help or a uh, offer for a helping hand or a very tempting offer other way around right it may not be for a for a help it may be for a partnership okay or it could be a job offer or it could be an offer for a relationship either way so um uh, first of all let's talk about the king of cups king of cups it's a, a person who is very balanced and professional especially when it comes to business okay but the thing is that they are also capable of deep emotions however those emotions are not shown in front of the world i mean that person does not brag about those emotions so if they have something for you, a thing for you, let's say, that, that is your suitor, all right? And you always attract, att not attract, but um, um, the, the word just uh, jump off my head, guys. Um, interact with them among many other people. You will never know what they feel towards you because they don't want to show it in front of many other people. They want to show it in front of you. So <clears throat> that being said, this week it will be awesome if you are able to interact with people only face to face instead of you know being surrounded with a, a cluster of other individuals but with the ace of swords here it looks like that not all um all information to you is going to be given 
in regards to the endeavor that lies ahead, but more like uh, only the information which you need to know is going to be given to you. So we are seeing that there may be some sort of a, uh, a, a situations or a clashes here that could um, build up a bit of mistrust in between you and the King of Cups. So let's say that person comes around and offers you help with something, even though you haven't asked for that help and you may be kind of like, why? I mean, I haven't asked you for anything. Or they offer you on your job out of nowhere, out of the blue, and you're baffled saying, why are you offering me that job since we're not even close friends, right? So not everything is gonna be clear, That that is my point. <clears throat> but with the King of Cups, you need to know that they are usually, they have thought quite meticulously and thorough before they approached you with this offer either for a help or for something to be created in between you two. I mean, something that you are to create together. So the next one, it is the challenge here with the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords. We do have a another passive neutrals that we do have. And it looks like that you may have, when this thing comes around that offer for a help or for a, a new endeavor, you may also have this, I, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but let's say a low confidence, okay, or abated confidence. Um, being afraid that you're gonna screw this, the things, uh, the things around. Now, with these two cards, you need to also understand that whatever is in front of you, nobody actually have a recipe for success. Nobody actually knows the right step. I mean, that thing, either a new relationship or a business project, you know, or or, or a new job, all, only can be success, successful through the trial and error. So you don't have to be afraid of making the wrong steps. It is just you should be um, agile, agile in your mind enough to recognize when you're doing something wrong so you can get back and fix it. Pretty much with the Seven of Cups, it is always like this. I mean, you are pretty much a saved of making a, um, a, a colossal fail, so rather like approaching disasters, uh, catastrophes, all right? Uh, more like you, uh, when you do something wrong, you are to be a bit disappointed from your actions or from the results, etc., etc. But you are you also have the option to go back, you know, and fix it. Go back and do the right thing is, instead. And with the five of swords here, these two cards <clears throat> align in such a way that they are divulging that you do have a bigger limits that you are setting for yourself. So that is the challenge to lift up the bar a little bit. All right, of your personal limitations of your goals, if you want to say it that way, or to have a clamorous belief in yourself that actually you can pull through a uh, offer that you may feel reluctant to because you may have doubts in your capabilities or into your knowledge, you know, or into your mental state as well, because some people break mentally when it comes to a working under pressure, people like me, for example. Now, the next one uh, is going to be uh, the positive aspect here, and that is going to be the Eight of Swords. The accompanied card, it is the Eight of Cups. So we do have double eight. Eight is a number of a material gains here, and um, <clears throat> a number of, um, let's say, a meticulous and persistent uh, push forward that it is pretty organized. And I think that the last card is about organization as well. Yeah, we do have the um, the justice card. But the thing with these two, it is that you, basically what you are going to understand as a positive aspect is that it doesn't get any better than that. You want to make any progress, well, that is your chance of making progress. It may look a bit scary. It may look a bit unoverwhelming, okay? This offer of that man, most likely a man that is, or the offer of a helping hand, but that is how you make progress, that is how you make your new relationship, that is how you um, <clears throat> boost your financial gains, this is how you overcome your plights, if that's an offer for a help, you know, I mean, that is the way. Now, with the Eight of uh, Cups here, there could be a bit of a grudge in between you and that person. What I mean is that you may not be best friends, okay, and you may kind of like share something or rather like attempt to have something that you do share. I don't know how to say it, but 
in my language literal trans uh, translation is that you do share something and you don't want to share that thing right someone wants it for themselves but that grudge needs to be set aside because the goal that stands in front it is for the common good it is it will be beneficial for you it will be beneficial for the king of cups as well and that is the truth and in these two cards uh if the truth makes you free then what the denial of it makes you you know i mean you are um a prisoner of your own ambition ambition that cannot become true i mean the ambition to take away what you share i mean that cannot become true but together you can a, achieve much much greater things so these two cards here are calling you to um put behind your backs uh, the differences you know settle the disagreements uh, accept that even though the situation it's a bit misfortunate in between you and that person uh, if you strive together toward a new perspective uh, a better better things are going to happen you know you are going toward a be better future so the last card it is uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering that is going to be the justice followed by the king of wands we do have a an active friends so <clears throat> it's time like i said to be quite organized now these two cards are calling for a sorting out your priorities straight i mean arranging your priorities straight because we're talking about a materializing of an ambition setting an ambition into motion now ambition that it is not about the sharing but it is ambition about the future with these two cards it does look like that should you be accurate in regards to your priorities i mean set your immediate priority priorities immediately or more demanding priorities for a an immediate execution and those who can wait they can wait simply so you schedule them for a later it does look like that you can transform your ideas into very very powerful drive a drive which is going to be so organized that it is highly unlikely you know that you are to miss important detail that may ruin your benefits at the end or it's kind of like you are to fail in any way making the wrong moves along the way so uh for you gemini's uh, just a couple of examples and couple of thoughts at the end here with these cards it looks like that uh this week it is not a time where you will have to be um unyielding this week it is not a time where you will have to um clinch upon the small disagreements that you do have with your business partners you know or or, or with your uh with your boyfriends or girlfriends if you do have any but it is more like you need to start thinking of how much you can benefit together if you combine your if you combine your forces and especially for those who are very scattered um in in the world in general and very messy i mean they are constantly kind of like take one thing after another without having much of a plan what is going to happen afterwards it is time to slow down a bit of your motion and think about the repercussions the consequences of uh, not being not being organized and consistent i don't know just how to say it but it is more like a, instead of being chaotic you know you do have all the time in the world and all the abilities in the world as well you know to organize and structure your life your relationship and your career as well so that being said gemini this was your weekly tarot reading september 16th to september 22nd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then Bye.